we have seen last part that is the other forms of literature. In that we were seeing the example of Chaucer, Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Chaucer is the most prominent in his storytelling. The stories are in verse. He is a major comic writer. His Canterbury Tales ranges over the whole gamut of comedy. His humor is gentle and being. The nun's priest tales has the cock tales and a fox as characters. It is written in mock heroic style. The cock is the hero who dreams a terrible dream. When the cock feels proud of his eyes, Chaucer presents the mock. Moralizing about the transcendence of human joys, the praise of fox blames him and the fox catches hold of him and runs into the forest. The poet has turned the moral of the story into masterpiece or of sophisticated comedy. These animals have been given names of human being which Chaucer has taken from Plato's tales. Charles Dickens is the greatest comic fiction writer. The Pickwick Papers makes the reader laugh at the throat. This book, this book is an exception to the rule because though there are comic situations through and through at cost of human dignity. It is a successful work. Dickens has created great comic characters in this novel. He has a sharp ear of the oddities of speech. His word is absurd. Wilkins and let's see these characters are very neatly presented it long winded and occasionally cheese redone any passage from Pickwick paper shows these traits the court seen in the novel Pickwick against Mrs. Barday is an admirable scene which is most dramatically presented. Thomas Love Peacock is one of the English comic writer. His misfortunes of E. Finn was the result of an almost lifelong interest in the history. It has something in common with the with that comedy of romance and humor after the manner of a manner of Shakespeare. The plot is the set of the sixth century AD. The king, the head of the commission, laid the work in the hands of his assistants 
and then in turn to their assistants when priests sorry prince explain so prince if he comes he sees the embankment fallen and the commission found enjoying the argument between them is the most humorously described here so when the short information about the comedy we will discuss some of the points once again that is the comedy had a crude beginning in the poma that is the origin of the comedy in history of the comedy which is a kind of fertility celebration which involved much crude merriment and revelry of a kind which would be shocking to anyone who is conventional milton gave the name comas c o m u s to the god of revelry and license to his great mos so it is clear that like other puritans he associated comedy with in decorum and general lack of decent restraint therefore moralists in all periods have regarded comedy with distrust this mistrust is partially so partly justified when we consider the english restoration comedy one jeremy collar jeremy collier attacked the counterpart plays in his essay short view of the immorality the performance of the english stage but very few comedies produced in europe since the renaissance shows any trace of their true origin by the time of the great greek tragedies had also established itself as a recognized form of drama and it had uh, become customary in athens to perform a satire play immediately of a immediately after each tragic trilogy but only one of these plays survives it is the cyclops of euripides there are sources to know about the other satire plays a satire play was generally a burlesque treatment of some well known myth it provided a sharp contrast to the tragedies and offered some light relief after the tragic sequence which might have lasted several hours it also satisfaction it also satisfaction that law of tradition which was the characteristic of the greek in classical time for the chorus in the guise of satires or the goat skins which centuries before had formed the traditional costumes of the withrams or goat songs the resembles in the shape of the word made some critics think that 
the word satire comes from the word satire but there is no derivation as much therefore the satire play should not be confused with the satire in the drama then we have example of the aristophanes aristophanes in the verse in the period 448 to 380 bc who was the famous english greek writer of comedies in that time comedy was not supposed to be inferior to tragedy as it was thought like on comedies were performed as a separate play in addition to the satire play which was an appendage to the trilogy the athenians found aristophanes comedy as something new and daring and delightful it had a topic and highly original it introduced actors in the parts of contemporary men recognized by realistic masks and lively imitation of their gait and mannerism aristophanes the clouds introduces socrates who was contemporary and masks him said he set up a thought shop that is a satire on philosophical ideas when the play was produced socrates was among the audience and he stood up for the observation of the audience that they should know whether the actor rightly imitated him or not the knights in an attack on a powerful political figure clean the actor did not wear the mask because they feared the supported supporters of clean would molest them i wish to face the frogs with its croaking that is the chorus present the tragedy writers as if ashilas and euripides who contended for the prize in the country of the day his lysis rata exposes the futility of war the women of athens tired of endless wars against the sparta follow the lead of the spirit spirited such is the short information about the uh, greek comedy remaining part we will continue in the next